Hey everybody! So, I need to be quiet today because my roommates are probably all still asleep. It's like 5.30 in the morning. I was gonna go to the Chinese gardens nearby and I'm gonna try to get some cool shots there for the sunrise. Let's go for an explore. All right guys, good morning. I'm here at the Chinese gardens. I've shot photos here a few times. I tend to really enjoy it. It's a pretty cool place and the scenery is pretty sweet. So I just wanted to shoot the sunrise if I can. When I was at my apartment, I saw and I looked outside and it was like, oh, okay, cool. So we got some decent clouds. So that should hopefully give me like some cool colors across the sky. Now it's kind of turning into a little bit of haze. So I'm not entirely sure how good of a shot we're gonna get, but I figured I might as well. I was already awake, so it was one of those things I was like, I can either just lay in bed and be awake, or I could come out and try to be creative and productive with my time. I've gotten a shot here before that I really liked. It was of the, the twin pagodas that they have here and the, the reflection over the water. That shot, it was all cloudy and gray, but it was still a really cool shot. So I'm hoping that if I get some like decent sun peeking through, I can maybe recreate that shot with some different lighting, maybe capture it in a different way. Let's see what happens. Hi. Oh, hi. I've been chosen. So sleepy. Okay, bye, kitty. So it's starting to rain. <laughs> uh, of course, it is. I kind of want to talk about making the best with what you got. Now, I don't have the best camera gear. The camera that I use on a consistent basis is a Canon 50D. It came out in October. 2008. It has 15 megapixels. It doesn't shoot video. I also don't have a whole lot of lenses. I have one lens. I have a nifty 50 Canon 50 millimeter f 1.8. You can get them for like a hundred bucks on Amazon. That's the only lens that I own. I own that lens and I own a basically 10 year old camera. Oh, kitty friend is back. <laughs> YouTube videos and I read things and I, I try to learn as much as I can to make my visual storytelling the best that it can be. So I'm passionate about storytelling, whether that's with me acting on stage or taking photographs and showing people a bit of like my perspective. I love to tell stories. It's one of my favorite things in the world. I, I get excited about it. I, I think it's fun. Like she purposefully got into the shot and then started walking backwards to stay in the shot for as long as possible. <laughs> Whatever it is that you happen to do, you have a story. You have a story that's worth telling. I love hearing people's stories and hearing about where they came from or what they did and how they got to where they are now because every step and every choice that we've ever made in our lives has brought us to right here to me making this video and to you watching it and watching me walking around the Chinese gardens waiting for the sun to come up. It's, we're starting to get some light over there so I'll wrap this up in a second. But everyone has their story and I think it's important that people share those stories and that we all try to encourage each other to continue to share our stories. So that's it as far as like deep thoughts from Danjo. Because now I'm going to go try to set up a shot for the sunrise. Hopefully it won't rain too much more. <laughs> but if it does rain and I have to pack things up, then that'll make for a good story. <laughs>
right, I'm kind of bummed out because it's raining pretty heavy now. The sunrise actually looks like it was gonna be pretty nice. You're so pretty. At least I made a friend today. Uh, I tried to wait to see if maybe the rain would go away, but it's not stopping. And I don't want to risk breaking my gear. So I still think that I got some pretty okay shots and I, I learned some stuff about uh, long exposure photography as well and really trying to figure out, like trying to dial in my settings for that. I, I don't regret coming out here. I think this is a really cool time. Again, you gotta work with what you got. So even if things aren't exactly what you expect them to be or exactly what you want them to be, that doesn't mean that you can't turn that into a positive and a good situation. So I encourage all of my friends and anyone watching this to to find your passion and to go out and make your art. Because ultimately, you're the only one that can make your art. Nobody else is gonna make your art for you. Work with what you got. Go out and create your world. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And be sure to check out some more of my videos whenever you get a chance. And uh, thanks for coming along on this journey with me, guys. Say bye to the vlog. Bye.